Right guys, you're watching Outsider and I'm Tank. Thanks for clicking on the channel. Uh, what I'm going to do today is just a quick demonstration how to make a tent out of a British basher. It's quite simple, uh, but I'm going to show you anyway because there's a lot of people who have asked me um, about configurations with the, with the tarp, okay? Um, it's a great little shelter. Um, it's open fronted it is so this time of year it's a bit iffy with the bug situation you know but um, I'm going to show you how to set one up now okay so here's the ingredients what you're going to need okay you're going to need one trekking pole tarpaulin or basha you need some stakes you can need some paracord and you can use two bungees you can use paracord instead of them if you want to but I do prefer to use bungees so that's what we're going to need today okay boom just like that let's show you how to do it so stage one lay your tarp out and decide which way the door is going to be facing so my door is facing you so first stage I'm going to the back I'm going to pin the two out There's the centre, I'm going to pin the outside two to there Stage two I'm going to pin, I'm going to stake out on the outside the first runner down going to tuck the corners the in. Side. Same on the front. Side. I'm coming one over. Taking the end one. Coming up one over. And be back. Come one over. Yeah. So you're looking at that shape, like a hexagon, okay? Now, one thing worth noting is I'm using my hat on top of the trekking pole. If you're using a branch, you definitely use something on the top, you know, so it wouldn't tear the top, okay? For the next stage. Is a track and pull. So you look in. So now we look in like this. Let's go to the, the next stage, stage after the pole. This is where I use the bungees. So what I do is one down from the centre, put it on. And clip it back like that. I'm gonna do exactly the after same on the, the other side. It should look like that, okay? The next stage now. He's using some paracord for the front. So I put some paracord on the front, guys, okay? Just tie the loop through here. And there's a tree in front of me. So I've just done a, a trucker's hitch knot up to the tree. So as you can see, a trucker's hitch knot. Simple. Just round the tree. And back to the top. There we go, where are we? There we go, see? So that goes on to the front, look, see? Here's the back, guys. So what I've done, <coughs> I've just used a bungee cord 
and put it up to a branch. So you got a bit more room for your feet on the end there, on the foot end. So that's what we're looking like. So let's take it so off. As you can see, guys, there's plenty of room inside. Enough for one man and all this kit. See? I wouldn't say... Well, you could get two people in there if you start to gear somewhere. I put my... Uh, I brought the tarp all in with me now. The same length as my... Uh, my gonk bag. So I lay it out now just to show you for reference, okay? So you've got bags of room there. You put your head up the end, okay? And then you put all your kit on our side. Show you now, show you how much room we've got now. There you go guys. Absolutely bags of room. Plenty of leg room. Put all my kit there. Make my brew there. I want to touch you. Plenty of ventilation. Great for observation. Absolutely cracking uh, little setup. So you just need the top, some sticks, some paracord. Some bungees, one track and pull, but this isn't necessary. You can use a, a branch, okay? Superb. Let's get a brew on. There you go guys, that took 90 seconds. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, simple in it. Um, if there's any questions, put them down below, okay? And uh, with the with the setup again, guys, I will say, you know, it's a good good way if you want to get out there budget camping because a tarp will only cost you fifteen to twenty pounds. And um, yes, you know, if you want to just get out there, you know. Through the summer months now and I can always put a bug net down the front see thanks for watching all guys right um any questions put them down below don't forget to give me the thumbs up because it, it massively helps the channel that does it helps get the video get noticed see guys and uh keep watching all the other stealth camping guys there's loads out there now and uh there's some really good ones a lot better than me like i'll be honest so yeah so uh, 
keep watching those stealth camera videos. I've loads of ideas now for the warmer months coming up. On my next vlog, I'm going to show you what will be my summer setup when the bugs are eating you to death. I'll, I'll show you our next, okay? It's not a simple thing, it's just a quick little idea I had when I was in work. And uh, it's going to work, I know it's going to work, guys. You can use as much repellent as you want for these to get out of you, right? So keep it out for the next vlog, it's going to be awesome. See you guys, see you soon.